using the following. I'm going to show you A, how to con someone using their own greed. B, that you won't feel bad because they're trying to con you anyway. And C, taking their money. Now, this scam only works because the barman thinks he's working the scam and that this man is his mark. Here we see Stan, a working class man who's a leader of this scam. For this, he'll need a mate. So let's call his mate Piers. No, not Piers. Let's call him Farquhar. Anyway, using the following technique, they're gonna take all the barman's money, but they're not gonna care because he's gonna fucking deserve it. Now this is where this story begins, so listen up. Get Farquhar to call into the bar with his dog. Call to the bar to look after a dog for a dart, just for 20 quid for a while. Claiming that he hated it, but it was worth more than his car. Oh, and this by the way requires that Stan finds and supplies Farquhar with an animal from a local park. Anyway, let's get back to it. The barman will agree to look after the dog as long as he promises it's not for too long. Now, get Farquhar to dart out the bar and just wait for a while. Now Stan will walk in the bar, walk up to the barman and order a jar. He'll start eyeing up the dog that he's minding by his side, then start on about the dog he owns. He'll start asking the barman if it's his fine specimen of the dog, as he nods and smiles, looking interested and cool. When he tells Stan it's someone else's, Stan will tell him, this is a very rare breed of animal. He'll tell him it's like, I don't know, like a fucking red-eared hunting spaniel. Stan will tell him it's worth 600 quid and that he would pay handsomely if he were to accept finance at all. At this point, if the barman accepts, then Stan should make a beeline from the bar and resign. But if he declines, then it's all fine and the plan perfectly stays in line. Now, Stan should give his mate a ring and get Farquhar to pop in, looking straight gutted a bit later on. As he enters the bar, he should order a jar and talk at the bar. Farquhar should start falling apart about how he's arsed up some chance how arsed up his day was, and how his rent's not getting paid up. As the barman's mind chimes slowly for a while, Farquhar should continue to moan about money, and that this mutt is not the greatest of his worries. And like, ching, the barman will five out of six times kindly offer his greed to buy the dog for a price of 300 quid. The barman is gonna see how much he can stitch Farquhar up for, and how does that work? Because every con is based around someone who thinks they're conning you. The barman would never imagine the whole scenario was prepared solely for him. Why should he? That sort of paranoia can get you in the loony bin. It's all one big con. <laughs>